Zinka, Andrew, and Sean. We are back with what is potentially a new series. We've tentatively titled it as Strong Opinions. It's a show where we come together, present our very subjective opinions on our favorite foods, and defend it to the death. Often in the course of making food content, we find ourselves disagreeing about fundamental things. So we were needing a venue where we could argue it out. So today, we're gonna share our strong opinions on sandwiches. The rules are as such. Each person will have three minutes to present and make their favorite version of a food item. The non-presenters will then each ask one question and try the food item. After everyone's presented, we'll vote on the ultimate favorite. And lastly, the winner will get a special prize. The ultimate prize is something to hold over the others forever. On that note, let's get started. Do you want to say what you're making first? No, just let's go. I'll start the timer for three minutes. I'm going with a baguette. That's my bread of choice because I love baguettes. I don't care what anyone else says. <laughs> I like baguettes because I like the crunch. I like kind of how airy it is. I generally also like just getting fresh bread. I like to use fig jam. I like very sort of like sweet and savory. So in this case, the fig jam is giving me that sort of sweetness. Is fig jam your go-to or do you have other jams that you The use? jam is my go-to. Fig jam is like, I think my go-to for all the time. Sometimes I put fig balsamic vinegar in this instead. And then for cheese, I like to go with a very soft cheese. This is actually a type of brie. It's very mild. That's why I like it, because it doesn't have a lot of flavor. You can kind of see that it just like oozes out a little bit. You see it? You see it? See it? Okay. I'm gonna note that. This one's a St. Angel's triple cream. Spreads like butter. Super creamy. It's great. It's a little bit like savory. My sandwich is also a bit, kind of like a spinoff of the Parisian jambon burr. Is that what you call it? I don't know, but the ham and cheese. Jambon. Jambon? So the ham is just French bistro ham, usually just like thinly cut. I'm doing this like really frantically because we only have three minutes. My hands are literally shaking. And you then- You have 25 seconds. Are you kidding me? Let's go, let's go. All right, some arugula. We're gonna go right on there. Da, 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 da. A bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. Oh my God, chaos. Did I put everything? I don't know, and that's it. Ta-da. Right, right at three minutes. Three minutes is really hard. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done three minutes. Well, too bad, we're stuck with three minutes. I did it in three minutes, you can do it in three minutes. Would you like to try it? I would, that looks like something that tastes good. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew's face is like struggling. Very sweet. Very sweet. As usual with Inca. I think I like went crazy this time. Have you had one of these in France? Yes. So actually the reason I like this sandwich so much is because I had this sandwich in Paris from a place called Moz. It was like this giant sandwich just filled with ham and cheese and obviously the ham was fantastic, cheese was fantastic and I think that's when I fell in love with it. I kind of just like tweaked it to my own preferences. My question is, if this is a sandwich episode, why did you make a charcuterie board? Whoa, that is a very aggressive comment, okay? Bread is great. Charcuterie boards need more bread. I'm not mad about that comment. Charcuterie board in a sandwich, I'll take that as a compliment. Should I ask a real question that's not just a, a diss? <laughs> Do you ever make this sandwich if you can't get the best version of any of the individual ingredients? Yes, I do. This is my classic combination. Big jam, I think, is, a, is the, probably the hardest thing to replicate because strawberry and anything else, I think it's too overwhelming. But the general combination of like a sweet jam plus arugula, some sort of protein and cheese is what I always go to, I think. All right, Sean, you're up next. Three minutes, you can't go over three minutes. Whatever you do in three minutes, that's a sandwich, okay? Go! All right. So I am making a sandwich that is very specific to where I'm from. I am making a sloppy joe. A sloppy joe around the world is known mostly as this thing with a whole lot of like beef and like sauce and such. In a South Orange area of New Jersey, Essex County-ish, a sloppy joe is this thing with a lot of cold cuts and a lot of coleslaw and Russian dressing. It's a little bit like a Reuben, but not so hot. What do you just put on there? Well, I just put roast beef down. Okay. And then I'm now putting coleslaw down. Did you make that coleslaw? I did make this coleslaw. Wow. This is vinegar coleslaw. It is not mayo coleslaw. Interesting. So it doesn't have like all of the creamy stuff of it. Um, it's called a sloppy joe because it gets kind of sloppy. So I put coleslaw down that I made. 
A little bit of vinegar, some uh, celery seed, some other stuff. This is Russian dressing that I made because it was really hard to find Russian dressing. This is mayo, ketchup, including some of the ketchup that I made. Cheese is great. I think that sometimes when there's too much hard cheese in a sandwich, it makes it worse. What is hard cheese? Like, um, not soft cheeses. Anyway, I'm putting turkey down. Like so the thing about the sandwich is that there are actually three pieces of bread. What's that? This is turkey. What? This is gonna be the second layer. The meat supreme, that's what it is. I like it with two different types of meat. I think it's really tasty. And then we're gonna put another layer of coleslaw. I'm gonna do this one a little bit less. So there are a few different ways to do this. This is the way they do it at my home deli. It is hard to eat. Normally you would wrap this in like wax paper and then eat it with a wax paper around it, but we're not gonna do that right now because we are strapped for time. <laughs> So we did another layer of coleslaw, another layer of uh, Russian dressing. We have 30 and then seconds. We're just going to stack it all, oh God, stack it all on top of each other and then press it down. Normally the, the bread would be bigger, so it spreads out. But that's the sandwich right there. The instruction was one sandwich, not three sandwiches. How is this three sandwiches? I guess it's two sandwiches. And most is two sandwiches. <laughs> so I'm also from Essex County, New Jersey. I think I've seen this. Something about it is familiar, but I'm, I'm definitely not like, oh yeah, that's the one. It's very specific to like one area and only if you go to specific delis, but then everyone goes to the same delis, so. So that's just called, it's on the menu somewhere. It's on the menu somewhere. God, this thing is like half of my face. How is it possible to get it all in one bite? Uh, it's very wet. Oh my God. <laughs> You heard of the French dip? This is the Jersey dip. That's what we're doing over here. I have a question. You do have a question, go for it. How many times have you made this sandwich? This is my second time. This is not your favorite sandwich. It's my favorite sandwich to eat. This. When I think of a sandwich, this is what I think about. It has like all of the components that I want in a sandwich. It has like a bunch of different flavor profiles. It has like different textures. It has like a lot of tart. There's like just enough vegetable, but not too much. So it feels like you're eating a salad. None of the individual components are like the star. Like it all works together. Is it supposed to be this wet? Uh, it's called a sloppy joke, it's in the name. But is it supposed to be that wet? Okay, so I will say- You, you, you this... said a variety of textures and flavors, but really I'm just getting wet and celery seed. Okay. <laughs> but it's crunchy. Dude, it's nice being on this side of the table, I'll tell okay, you no, I will say, this this bread has like a particularly like open crumb. Normally, because it's rye bread, normally it is a little bit more dense. So it's able to keep everything together. But this was the bread that I could find. Let it be known that Inca doesn't want to finish your sandwich. It's too wet. Hey, you put a lot of effort into this. We appreciate it. Even if it's not the best sandwich. Oh my God. Okay, Andrew, you're up next. All right, Andrew, you ready? Uh, yeah. Three minutes on the clock. Three, two, one, go. Okay, for my perfect sandwich, I'm going to be making a veggie sandwich. This is my favorite type of sandwich to make at home because it gets rid of a lot of the failing points of sandwiches, like your bread not being good, or your ham not being good, or deli meat kind of being gross in general. So <laughs> what I like to do is get basically whatever is nice and tasty looking. I like Persian cucumber because it's crunchier. Then there's probably a little bit of thin onion on there because there's always onion sitting around. And then the real treat is when tomatoes are really good. You have a really nice slice of tomato in the middle of the sandwich. Nice that is a very good tomato. So I like to use the like, healthy store sandwich bread that's just like this soft nothingness. And I like putting mayonnaise on the bottom. And then it's also nice to have something spicy. So I usually have a jar of these chilies laying around and they just kind of go here on the bottom. Probably the onion goes next. One minute. And then there is the cucumber because that is the nice and crunchiest part. I make it up every time, it's different every time. Next probably goes the avocado because it's so delicious, it's so nutritious. <laughs> It's adding another creamy element. And then I would probably go ahead with my tomato slices at this seconds. point. I would take Inca's salt and I would put it on top of that, but I lost track of it. And then there's just like a pile of whatever lettuce looks nice right now. And you just put like an unreasonable amount. Sir, and then- 20 seconds. That's the you sandwich. You have no seasoning. You don't need it. Okay. Uh, seasoning is life. With 12 seconds left, you sure you don't want to season that? Uh, where's the salt? <laughs> Seven <laughs> seconds, six, five, four, Where is this three, soul? I found oh, it. Oh, you Two, found it, okay, nice. One, hands up. 
I would have put that on the tomato, but I lost track of it. I'm not gonna knock it till I try it. I hate that you trash talked my bread. The issue with making sandwiches at home is that unless you can get really great versions of specific stuff, it's hard to recreate specific sandwiches. Like, how am I gonna live up to the sandwich I had on vacation in Paris? Or from my childhood deli. And I also forgot to put cheese on, but normally I would put a grated layer of cold cheese somewhere in there. Yeah. Interesting. All right, you ready to try it? I just wanna say, you said that I put a charcuterie board in my sandwich. You put a salad in your sandwich. Oh yeah, that's my other point. The best way to eat a salad is as a sandwich. The best way to eat a charcuterie board is as a sandwich. <laughs> it's okay. true. I just wanna say, my sandwich was so easy. Yeah. You can just grab and go. This is not grab and go. Yeah, your sandwich was easy. You just buy yeah. nice cheese and nice ham and hey. perfect baguette. Hey. That's my, that's my version of a nice sandwich. I like using good ingredients to get a good I can make this sandwich anywhere. All right, cheers. Here. <laughs> this is the sandwich that I most often like to make on like a Saturday afternoon. Maybe I've been doing chores all morning. I'm sweaty. I don't want to eat anything other than like cold, crisp stuff, but I also want a sandwich. Does this still taste the same when you have a sandwich like this with vegetables that aren't as fresh, like vegetables that have been sitting in the fridge for a while? Cucumber can reliably stay pretty crunchy as long as it's not been sliced into. And so that's kind of like, that's what it's there mainly for. It's kind of like a wet, cold sandwich, but in a good way, not a bad way like Sean's. So know? do you enjoy eating cardboard or is it just, this was the only bread that was available to you? The great thing about cardboard is that it's there to hold the precious, delicious things inside of it. And you don't really think about it. I do think that the sauce works. I feel very healthy. Yeah. That's a good thing. I that's, a good, I that's a good way to feel. Uh -huh. right. Time to pick our favorite. Yeah. We've all written our winner down on this tiny little whiteboard. Reminder that nobody can vote for themselves. Nobody can veto their vote. You must vote for one person. Sean, if you'd like to reveal and explain your choice. This was really hard, actually. If I'm being honest, I did like them both a lot, but I think I wanted a sandwich that was a little bit easier to carry around, which I understand is contradiction to what I made. So that's why I went with Inca. I like both sandwiches for different reasons. I liked Sean's for the flavor. There was a lot going on. I liked that it was just like a flavor bomb in itself. Andrew's was actually very refreshing and I liked kind of his reasoning behind doing the sandwich. My only thing is I really don't like wet sandwiches. And so I voted for Andrew. Wow, Woo. I wasn't expecting that. I picked this sandwich because I thought it really represented the excitement and sort of fervor that occurs when you are presented with a really good sandwich and you just want to gobble it up. And that's why I went with Sean's Sloppy Joe. What? Whoa! Wait, so in so this we're a tie. case, we're a tie. We are in this very difficult position of each having one vote and therefore we will have one crew member behind the camera vote for us. Alex, please tell us who the winner is. Whoa! Didn't you buy this prize? I did buy this prize. <laughs> well, Sean, okay, please reveal the prize that so, you purchased. So the prize that I won is the most expensive mayonnaise I could find. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sean. That's it for the video. Hope you guys liked the sandwiches we made today. You should tell us what your favorite sandwiches is. That did not make sense. All right, thanks everyone. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Uh, any last thoughts? I'm surprised, but thank you, Alex. I forgot the cheese. <laughs> we'll never live that down. <laughs>